my sweeties hello hello my sweeties i hope that you're all good to those who are coming for the first time my sweetie you are most most welcome please please join the fam please hit that subscribe button let's go to the channel let's go to the fam and to those who are coming back hey fam hey fam hey fam my day ones my sweeties i hope that you're all good guys i know that i disappear lately i disappear guys guys i disappear and i'm sorry about that but i want to Go back to being consistent again it's just that i don't i don't even have an excuse of why i haven't been filming i just haven't so i'm really sorry about that um so since it's been quite some time since um i i, I posted i uploaded um a video i thought that i should i should start with assumptions about me like a video about assumptions about me i posted a story on my instagram and my facebook for people to send through their assumptions about me so that's what we're doing today we're gonna read assumptions about me and then i will be reacting to those and state if they're true or false guys it is extremely hot so jay forgive me for this but okay yo if i don't do this i'm literally gonna you know what i don't even know what but I'm sweating and stuff because it's really hot. So I'm going to need to use this every now and again. Um, so ooh -wee, what is this one doing? So now let's get right onto it. Let's hear what the people say, what the people think about your hand. There's not a lot of them. There's not much posted, but okay, we're going to work with whatever is here right okay assumption number one they say that you you are kind okay i think i'm kind i really think i am come on i'm kind come on i'm kind of course thank you darling for even noticing because a lot of people look at me and they think that i don't know i'm this horrible person guys why are you doing this to me huh okay not an assumption I don't know what TIA is. What is TIA? TIA? The what? I don't know. I don't know what TIA is. But to answer you, I did my, my bros go KD Beauty. You can get them on on Facebook. How about, how about search on your on your Facebook? You're gonna get them. Then you can take their number and contact them. Um, the price, the price. When I first did my ombre name, it was a special. It was like a massive, massive, massive sale. Um, so it was a thousand rent for two people. Babo. So basically five rand, five rand, five rand. <laughs> basically 500 500 you understand but then when she did that special she was like you know what never ever again will i do this like because guys wow like that was a bargain that was a bargain lena she felt like it's a loss it's too much i'm not ever doing it again it's crazy like i don't even understand why i even did it in the first place so right now her normal prices i think i think ombre around like bo 1.3 1.4 if I remember well, but you can check on her page. We're gonna check out page in Yabona for the prices. And also she usually does specials, but she's never gonna do a special that was as cheap as how I got it, you know. But she always does specials. So like by the time or you text, Ganti she has a special going on and was about So you can Check their um, details on Facebook. And then afterwards, after you, you do the, the your, your ombre, you have to go back again for retouch, right? And then retouch, when I also did a retouch, like I did it, I think, two months later. Two months later, I went to go retouch. I, you're supposed to retouch after six weeks, but I went after two months, after eight weeks. Because, yes. So retouching was 650 it was also on special. It's retouch is usually eight hundred. So, yeah. But then afterwards, you know that you're done. You're done. You understand? You're gonna be like this for what? In the next coming four or five years. So for me, I think it's a it's a win win. You understand? You don't need to do your brows. Sometimes I feel like I don't even need to do makeup because in gym, my eyebrows are already there, and I'm like, okay, lip gloss, let's vibe. You get me? So it's a bad game. 
aha lol you you in, you enjoying your own space i do enjoy my own space oh my gosh i love my space yo i love my space more than i love anything more than i love being with people like i love my space i love 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 my space and i i at first like years ago if you would ask me two years prior Jorge, do you, i love my space i was gonna be like hmm what space <laughs> I don't want that i want my own space you understand but i think <clears throat> now i don't know you know when you grow everything changes all the time Every, all the time even like two three years down the line i'll be a completely different person from what i am now but for now i really really enjoy my own space yo i love my space guys so when i'm home i'm always in my bedroom and like but they don't even bother me anymore because but I love my space. What I would do, like, get up, show everything is done. It's done so that that's kind of a mule. It's a hang out. It's hello. Yeah, it's a hello. Clean up or whatever. So I do that already. Like, get that everything done so that when they are around and everything like that, they don't need to keep on calling me to do what and do what because I just want to be alone by that time. So I really, really enjoy my space currently in life. Huh. okay this one yeah i remember this one why are you mean okay this person said why are you mean and then i felt like no ways i need to respond because hmm, you understand so it's the only assumption that i actually responded immediately the rest i'm responding now to them and then i i, I messaged this guy i think he is nigerian or something and I, I, and then I asked him, all, like, why would you say I'm mean? Like, you don't even know me. We've never seen each other. Like, and Jay, you know nothing about me. You just see my pictures on Instagram. You understand? Okay, yeah. By the way, when I go on and try to go now, message him because we're not friends on, on I don't follow him on, on Instagram. You understand? When I go, Tinyeke, I go try to respond to him. I see that he has been DMing me. It's just that I don't usually read message requests unless I'm bored. When I'm bored, like they're very entertaining. They're very funny. Like some of y'all guys <laughs> pick up lines. Like, you know what? They're extremely funny. So like, like since I'm like he's he's been been sending me like messages on 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 thing you can on Instagram, but I, I never responded to one. I was not even aware that he had been sending messages one of the message requests that i've never opened so i was like oh so i mean because i didn't respond you're sexy i'm sexy and i know it <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> thank you thank you and you avoid weird friendships yes <laughs> yes yes Spoken like somebody who knows me very personally, but you don't. Let me check. No, you don't. I don't know you even. But yes, yes. Nakebuchali, guys. Kebuchali. But when it's necessary, I kebuchali unnecessarily. Um, um, wait, what is buchali in English? For those who don't know what buchali is, buchali. Hash. Hash. Is it hash? I think it's hash. Yes, I am hash when it's necessary when it's really necessary i will be harsh you understand in situations where i have to be harsh and i do avoid weird friendships if you start to move weirdly i'm out like i don't ever i'm out and for a lot of people it's something that you know what um they like just started learning how to do it now like as adults feel like okay you know what i don't want weird friendships what in just now as adults me now since like since 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 like since it, even in my childhood like i've always been that person you move weird i'm out so yeah definitely no weird friendships i beg no thank you um you have expensive taste <laughs> I do, and I have zero bad. <laughs> I do. I love beautiful things. I love expensive things. Like I love, I love luxury. I love, you know, 
everything like top notch lifestyle i love it i just don't afford it but i do try to force it here and there where i can <laughs> because if you're not forcing it then who will who will force it for you honey no ways you can't look like your problems you cannot look poor maybe yes in real life you people might know that you're poor but like you know what when you get a chance when you do get a chance foster foster on the socials you can't look poor look like you are poor in life and you are poor on socials how on socials at least nyana you know must look like someone <laughs> so yes i do have a very expensive taste and i really wish that god one day will just say bah my child here here's mommy so that you can live the lifestyle that you deserve oh like that guy is uh you are Puma Silo type of girl. <laughs> I feel like in all my like assumptions or questions about me, like like something like this is always mentioned. But I guess you can say so. It's something I'm trying to fight. So I, I don't wanna like say I am right now because I'm trying to fight it so bad. Like I've been doing so great. But okay, to answer like maybe Harry you would ask me this a couple of months ago i'd say yes definitely bona puma silhouette manji but I'm, I'm 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 fighting that and i've been doing great but yes generally to answer your question yes if it's necessary honey we will and trust me i don't provoke people i never ever 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 provoke anybody so if you hear or you see me fighting in by any means just know that that person provoked me i never really provoke people honestly i don't you like west african men my west africa is it let me google west africa is it like your nigerians and stuff just uh wait I'm sorry guys oh yeah like bo like your nigerians and stuff like that i i like them for who they are they are people and i love everybody i like everybody i love everybody because we are all humans we are unique we are different that's what brings us all together and everything like that i love them for that you understand like any other human being but as for like me going like for them specifically to say yo they are my type listen i want a west african man or nothing like no not really not really it's not something i really even think about like oh okay nigerian men are my type i know a lot of women like they say they are they say you know what they're everything i not that i haven't dated a nigerian guy i have but like i wouldn't say oh my gosh i'm gonna do nigerian men only like i don't want nothing like no like it's okay you understand i really don't care much i really don't care much so i like them because they're people but not to say they are my type and you listen i go after them and nothing else no not 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 in that kind of way where is this other page oh my gosh uh-huh your family is rich no no not even close not even close case you see not even close <laughs> oh booty i don't know but jay no no my family is definitely not rich they're nothing near near rich i'm sorry near rich just in jay no we're just normal people living normal lives in G and i mean i don't even like that i don't know why my parents aren't rich they still need to explain that to me because what what but you yeah, know we're not rich definitely not um you are the last born yes yes i'm the last born at home i'm the last born um you love going out i used to love going out so much yo i used to love it hey i used to love 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 it 
like so much like like i can't miss anything fomo would hit me so bad that i would even feel like you know what i'm getting depressed because of this former because i missed something like in g i used to be that person but not anymore not anymore i do go out here and there when i can when i'm in the mood but it's no longer the thing you go to like yo i love going out when every weekend i see any no it's fine like a lot of things can even like pass like i like and i feel like oh my gosh my is i'm missing out on my kufa or i'm missing out on what like i don't even have that anymore like fomo doesn't even it's not in my vocabulary anymore so i still do go out here and there i still like it but i'm no longer into it as much as i was like i don't care about it anymore as much as i used to care about it you have a sugar daddy no <laughs> i don't <laughs> no my brokers wouldn't be sitting here today <laughs> if i had one <laughs> yo guys no i don't i actually don't i don't care cc like i don't but I see girls are living large out there with their sugar daddies and blessers and everything. But no, I don't have it. I don't even want it. I don't even want it. I've discovered that, you know what? I'm too much of a dominant woman to have that in my life. You understand? I'm too much of a dominant woman. Like, yo, yo, guys, I can't, I can't. And uh, these people, basile, basile too much, you understand? They have this thing, they're... They're very controlling they treat women like nonsense like shit and stuff and kill me now i can't like i know it so i'd always be fighting and stuff and go to jail and what i don't want that so jay i don't even want one honestly i really don't even want one like i am good i am good i've discovered that you know what i want to work for my own things and stuff like that yo i really want to work for my own things i want to look back like let's say i'm in my 30s and i look back and i'm like girl you worked really hard or like i'm somewhere even though maybe i won't be where i really want to be but like i'll be i'll be somewhere or like i did it on my own you know i worked hard on my own or i could have like say my say my boyfriend she gets suddenly rich you understand then you know yeah that's fine i'll have i'll i'll have my my dude rich in that way like he's already my dude and then boom all of a sudden he's rich and what then you know it's a plus like good, good like nice you understand so but in jay and funke i'm right you are religious because of your family this is the last question by the way uh yeah not not question assumption yeah yeah i am religious because of my family i grew up in a very very religious household you know my mom my dad they're very religious and everything like that so christianity has always been part of my life since for as long as i can remember you understand from as little as i, I was you know, understand so that's how i got into religion and christianity and everything like that but growing up you understand i tell you everybody you grow up whatever way structure in which your family you know is like and then eventually once you become an adult you are able to choose for yourself you understand so i personally now still choose it for myself you understand for now not right now it's no longer about I'm religious because of my family i'm religious i'm i'm a christian because i want to be a christian you understand it's no longer about because of my family it's, it's now a personal choice because i at this point i could choose if i want or i don't you understand but now they just groomed me that they just you know yeah molded me to be that but i could decide not to anymore but at this point in my life i am a christian i am religious because it's personal choice because of myself because i wanted for myself i wanted for for familiar that that i will have on my own i want i just wanted you understand so yes oh i'm such i'm in such a good mood like speaking to you guys after such a long time it's so refreshing oh my goodness 
Who and I feel like I haven't even been looking at the camera like my eyes are all over. And so I don't know why, but every time like I skip like a month or so without sitting in front of you guys. When I come back, I, I I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of like shy, weird, 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 weird. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, I'll be seeing you guys on the next video. Next video, I thought like I should do like a life life update. The last time I did that, I think it was last year what may or something i'm not sure but it was uh, like a while ago last year so i'm gonna give you all guys a life update understand so till we meet again i love you my cities bye